How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel Tech with KG. Today we're checking out the Matrix Awakens. It is a Unreal Engine 5 tech demo and this is actually going to have a little bit of gameplay behind it as well. They put you into a Grand Theft Auto type simulator and the intro experience is really cool as well. As you see in the video right now, they're showing Keanu Reeves walking through different scenes in the Matrix and showcasing, look, this is how Unreal Engine 5 could look with faces so they're reconstructing some of the faces from the matrix franchise and they're showing off different character assets in unreal engine 5 as well now a lot of the showcases that they showed here was npcs and they're not as detailed as the matrix characters so i imagine the npcs and things like that in games are not going to be as detailed as the main characters as they're showing right now but that does give me a lot of promise for the future. As you can see when they're in the car here, the faces look really good. And they're also um, showing off just how a car chase scene would look. And this is a very time crisis style uh, gameplay that they present you in right here. But there's uh, just not much going on other than just holding down the trigger button to fire at the cars. The real experience comes to when you are put into this Grand Theft Auto type simulator. I gotta say that this uh, game that they put you in is massive. The scale is just so great. Uh, like, I was blown away to see just the buildings, the scale of them. I mean, I was kind of speechless, and I still sort of am when I look at the footage. I think that this is an experience that everybody should check out for themselves. I think it's fun to walk around in and drive around in. Uh, I really did like the way that the cars drove in this game they're really fun to play around with uh the damage that gets applied to the cars is really awesome as well when you're going high speed it does feel like you're going fast so that's something that they got right with this demo and also when you crash at high speeds uh it's pretty fun to look at i'll be honest with you that i wasn't expecting a lot of the stuff that was in this demo because usually Tech demos aren't this detailed and this fleshed out, but this didn't really have too many restrictions with it. Like I was felt like I could walk around the whole entire city or drive around the whole entire city at free will. And that was really cool. So definitely check this demo out. It's on the Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, and I believe the PC as well. And it is free. So try it out. And if you guys like it, let me know. I think that this is something that I would love to see uh, come to my games in the future is this type of technology. Like just think of the games that you love with this type of tech in it. And that's what we can come to expect if a game is developed on Unreal Engine 5. One thing I wanted to note was that this demo was not in HDR. It is an SDR experience. And from what I could see, it could have really benefited from being in HDR. I think it would have made the demo just that much more better. And it would look incredible if you think about the HDR experience that you can get in some of the games that are out right now. You know, it just leaves me wanting more on that front. But it is a tech demo and it's not going to be, you know, the full experience that you come to hope for from like a AAA title. But I gotta say, for being a tech demo, it plays really well. So that is my takeaway for this. When I think of the technology that this could be applied to, I think of games like Grand Theft Auto. Of course, that's the first thing that comes to mind. You know, Watch Dogs, Saints Row. And then I think of like what games should have been like this. And I think of Cyberpunk. And you know, Cyberpunk was this a uh, big massive game that was supposed to be really good but it ended up falling flat on its face because it was not done it was not done correctly so um there's still some slight hope for the future of that game you know with a next gen patch but i'm not really holding my breath on that one but this kind of demo just makes me want a game that's like this. So my hope for this demo is that this experience is going to be brought to a full story game. Like that would be so awesome. I would love to see that. And I think a lot of other people would probably be uh, happy to see that as well. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I have to say that 
I'm blown away by this tech demo. So there's a lot of promises here. You know, there's a lot of future tech going on and a lot of hope for the future of video games. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of showcase of The Matrix Awakens. And for the rest of the video, I'll go ahead and play my first gameplay experience and kind of my first reaction. It'll be off camera, um, not this microphone audio. I just wanted to give you guys this presentation here before I leave you with just gameplay. So enjoy the rest of the video. This is uh, pretty, pretty great looking, I have to say. This is the controls for now. Man, overall, what do you guys think of this? Let me know in the comments. Are you impressed with this? Because I am definitely, definitely impressed with this. Um, there's a lot going on. I just love the scale of everything. Man, good job. So if you guys aren't familiar um, with this experience, it was just announced last night, like I was saying, and it is by Epic Games and it's Unreal Engine 5. Just really cool. It's an official Matrix title, um, and it's just meant to sort of give you a cool experience with the Matrix type theme behind it. Uh, very, very awesome. Now let's see. I don't know if there's any ray tracing going on, but it does look uh, to be like there is some sort of ray tracing or some sort of reflection. That might just be the unreal engine reflections. I think there's ray tracing. Uh, you know, what I really am looking forward to seeing, like, a digital boundary breakdown of this, I think that would be very, very good. Uh, and, you know, maybe by tomorrow we'll see one, um, and we'll see that alongside this video. But, like, this is cool, man. Oh, there's a crash into a van. I think there's not, like, real collisions. And I would have to call the insurance and stuff. That would be way too realistic. Uh, like, look at the stoplights. It feels so, like, I can't drive through things. Uh, can I hit pedestrian? No, you can't. Okay. So they... Uh-oh. So I crashed, but I can't, like, reverse out. I think I broke you. And we're gonna get into this car here. But yeah, I just really wanted to uh, share this experience with you guys, man. I hope you enjoyed this video.